So far, the age group in Palestine has already killed nearly 3,000 IDF soldiers and injured over 11,000 IDF soldiers. And they've destroyed hundreds of vehicles, tanks, bulldozers, etc. This is a, a group that is running around in Adidas pants and flip-flops. A group that's cut off from the world. Can you imagine how furious the people in Israel are right now? Of course, mainstream media isn't reporting any of this, but the people inside Israel have clear evidence. Their sons and daughters are coming back in boxes. You can't hide that. You can't hide that. People are grieving. People are upset with the Israeli government. They've had enough. People are leaving Israel and not looking back. To all the Israelis, peace is the only way. Because you can't get rid of a force that is underground. And you don't know where these tunnels are leading. You don't even know if they're getting resupplied underground. You don't even know. And then you want a, another front with your neighbor to the, to the north. And those guys are not cut off from the world and they have combat experience in Syria and they're dug in the fucking mountains. America can't help you there. If you know the terrain better than the Americans do and you say you can't deal with the H group in Lebanon, how do you expect another group to deal with them? I think your arrogance blinded you. I was once arrogant. And believe me, I was arrogant and I didn't mean to. It was just because of the way I grew up, I became arrogant. But let me tell you, God humbled the fuck out of me. And I'm telling you right now, God is going to humble the fuck out of you people. If you don't fucking go to the peace uh, negotiations and, you know, give Palestinians something that is fair and give them their dignity back, I'm telling you, God is going to humble the fuck out of you. And, and I don't want to see you guys being destroyed. I don't want to see any life being destroyed. When I walk, I make sure I don't step on bugs. I don't want to see anybody suffering. But I'm going to make a prediction here. Israel, for the first time, will lose territory in this conflict. Mark my words.